Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I'm about to start off a new series. This is Valdus Story Abyssal City, or Abyssal City if you prefer. It is by Endless Fluff Games, and it is the replacement to my Don't Starve run. So, without any further ado, we're going to hop right in. It's kind of a platformer, fighter, swordsman type game. We're going to go, of course, with God Slayer. No, we're going to go with Normal because, yeah. Now, I played a little bit around with Wyatt Goibanu. I have no idea how to pronounce the name. I'm assuming it's something similar to that. Goibanu. And uh, the Wandering Warrior in Search of His Missing Father. There's two other characters that they're trying to release. And they have not quite done so yet. But we also have Reina Gaius. And that's the advanced play type, or the normal play type. And then it's Orphan Raised as a Monk in an uh, Allegathian Monastery. Well, since I've played around with him a little bit, I'm somewhat familiar, I'm going to get out of my comfort zone, and we're going to play as Reyna. As you can see there, there's my saved game. I don't really care about it, so we're going to hop right in. I don't have uh, that much done. We attract the demon worship all the way to the South Sea below the frozen wastes. Using the heavy mist as cover, we ambush the warship. We've been searching for Gurnot for many months now. He's the last living Hayo Goku. Oh boy, I missed that. I'm sorry, guys. And a key target in our plan to liberate the southern territories under Mirgato's something. We gave the crew their orders and prepared to board the warship. Sorry, guys. I thought I had more time. The real battle was about to begin. But something came up from the black depths of the sea. It's an evil whale. Red creatures unlike any I've ever seen. Beasts of impossible size, neither demonic nor angelic. Our ship was attacked, and then... Everything went white, and we don't know what happened. Or do we? We don't. Tell me, child, what is it you seek? Not a white screen, for one. What I seek? Peace. To end the era of suffering brought to this world by the gods. Little G. War is not new to this world. The history of man was stained with the blood of the innocents long before the gods came into the picture. Because that totally, well, I suppose in this world makes sense. Many more powerful than you have tried to save this world. Peace was short-lived at best. I will not give up. I will see an end to this war. We shall see. We shall see. Endless Fluff Games presents... Dun dun dun! Valdis Story. Abyssal City. Or Abyssal, again. It's up to you. And there's a glowy ball coming down, created by Carolyn Moya and Chiron Ramsey. And I'm not going to read any more of the credits, if there are more. I'll let you guys do that. That building seems to be cut off right there in the middle. It's like a void. Interesting. I wonder why that is. That seems kind of strange, actually. It's like something just... is missing, graphically. Oh! I'm scared. I don't know what's happening. Can I move around? Oh gosh. Hello! And we have landed! Ouch! That light I was surrounded by was a shield spell, but from where? This place is under the sea? If I fell here, surely some of the others must have as well. Alright, we can hold right trigger to enter spell casting mode. While in spell casting mode, press up to cast healing blessing. Cool. And I am healed! Well, we have all sorts of cool stuff. So I'll be a little familiar with how she works. Alright, don't know. Figure it out as we go. Alright, so... Can't make that jump. Yeah. Oh, she jumps pretty far though, that's pretty cool. Alright, so onward. Oh, what is this? You humans don't learn, do you? We warned you to stay out of our way. You are outmatched. I will only ask you once to stand down. In the name of the Dark Lady, I shall rip you to shreds. Press X or Y to attack. Alright, well what if I press X and Y? What? Look at that. Booyah! I'm doing damage. Oh, opening doors. Look at that. Doors are opening before me. 
<laughs> Can't quite make that jump, but I get to make those cool grunting sounds that everyone enjoys. Ooh, got some iron. Not sure what that's for. I've only played maybe 20 to 30 minutes of this game. So I can't say I'm super familiar with how things work or where that other person came from. That was kind of strange. Ooh, it looks like there's a hole over here I can not fit through because I've got large hair. But the game seems to play pretty well. Oh, no. I've enjoyed it thus far. Ooh, I can block things. Cool. I knew that, though. And you shall be defeated, and I will take your rusp cloth for my very own. Level 2. Press start to open the pause menu and spend your attribute and skill points. Alright, well, let's do that. So, we'll go to the stat, uh, status screen. Looks like we have three strength, so we hurt people a lot with punching and kicking and stuff. We only have one intelligence, one luck, and one agility. I'm going to go with agility, I think. And for the skills, we have Monk, Protector, and Golden One. So, let's see. Slightly increase the range of melee attacks. That seems useful. Increase the damage, attack damage by 5%. Also useful. And the attack speed of your melee. So this is going to be your fighting skills. Protector is obviously going to be your tanking abilities. How much damage you can soak before you die. And then the spellcasting one is the golden one, it looks like. Increase spellcasting range. Increase max mana. And all divine magic gain 20% chance to cause reckoning affliction. Well, that's interesting. I think we're going to go with... We're going to go with a fighting class to start with, so we're going to start building ourselves toward being an amazing monk of love and pain and suffering. That's Or, or the opposite of that, because you know we're good guys, of course. Ow, wrong button. Alright, so... Ooh, I wonder what that does. Ooh, ooh, look, we're faster or something? Oh, oh. No! You shall not have me! So it looks like there's all sorts of stuff going on. There's a way that way, there's a way the other way. So this is going to be a game where there's going to be a lot of exploring. That is going to benefit you greatly if you do so. Hopefully I keep my exploring, uh... Ooh. Hmm. Now I've adjusted the sound a little bit, so hopefully it's okay. Life potions are used when HP reaches zero, so it's like an extra life. Oh, or a continue, if you will. Alright. Oh, nope, not quite good enough. And we can heal ourselves with that. There we go. And let's move on westward and see where this adventure will take us. Oh, it was a dog. Feolan, thank goodness you're all right. Now I'm sure the others must be in a place, or in this place as well. Come on, boy, let's go find them. I can press the left trigger to call in an assist. Can't call assists while in town. That's pretty cool, and it's got a cooldown timer. That's very neat. Huh. Oh, oh. What is this thing? It does not look pleasant. Oh! Attack my doggy friend! Oh, I did a terrible job there. Nope. That's... Oh, oh! That spell was binding the gates. He is gone. Or it is, or is gone. Pretty impressive taking out an ogre on your own. A human! Do you know where we are? You came all the way down here and you don't know where you are? You angels are dumber than you look. Angel? I'm not an angel, and why do you insult me? You don't even know me. You're right, I don't know you, so get lost. Hold on, at least tell me where we are, okay, or be mean and rude and don't do those things. And there we are. Well, that healing spell really kind of sucks. But it is a healing spell. Hey, crazy flippy lady. What, what, what is all that? I can't do that stuff. Eh, eh, flippy flippy, no, no flippy, okay. Well, hmm. Oh my goodness, what in blue blazes? 
Ooh, shiny chest. I totally want that. Of course it's locked by a device. Unlock the door, I want to... to oh. Alright, well, let me wall bounce up. No? Okay. Well, I guess I don't get the shiny ch oh, chest. Gotta get used to hitting that button first, probably. Being defensive might be a wiser course of action. Can I break through this? Yeah. Oh. Huh, interesting. Interesting. Solar beam, divine decoy, Aegis, golden ray. Alright, well I don't know what any of this stuff does yet, guys, so bear with me. As I continue to learn and expand my knowledge of the ouch of the game itself. Hmm. Looks like we were out of mana there. Victory is mine! Nope. Nope! Ouch. I said good day, sir. There we go. So, we have beaten down uh, those individuals, those fellows, or fellowettes, or I guess they're demons. So, those demons. And we are ready to continue on. Nope. Yeah, look at that. That was some impressiveness. The likes of which no one has seen before. Maybe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Alright, well, apparently we've leveled up at some point that I completely missed can't level that up any further. So we'll increase our attack damage a little bit. Oops. And it looks like we can upgrade another point. So why not luck? Seems like a good idea. Alright. Well, we lost a weird flippy chick. I'm assuming that was a chick. It could have been a guy, I suppose. Oh, another one of these rooms. Maybe it'll have another amazing chest in it. Got a weird red door that I apparently need a demon key to get through. Ah, that does have a chest. I've gotten the master's scroll. What does that do? To perform a to perform a skill cancel, press left or right during skill cancel to evade dash. Huh. I don't know what a skill cancel is. But e either way, we now have this cool little dash thing. A little bit of a weird mechanic on the controller, but I, I suppose I can get used to it. <clears throat> Alright, so at this point... Oh, there's one of these guys. Yeah, what? Doing the skill dashes. We got some more iron. I wonder how we use iron and stuff like that. I'm not sure yet. Seems to have a relatively low cooldown. You use skill cancel mid-air to ground stomp. Oh, very cool. Oh. Apparently there's a timer to it. Oops. Alright, there we are. Skeleton key we do not have. And on, ooh, I can feel a strange energy coming from that room. Is someone there? Apparently we're gonna go in here. Interesting. That statue. Ooh, we can save our game here. There we have it. Game saved. And we got a rogue's cowl. Now I believe there is an inventory thing here. I'm not sure how it works. I think it's here. You can change your weapons, your armor, your accessory, your assist apparently, and your finisher. Okay, well that's cool. Alright, so we go downward. Alright. Wrong button combination. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get used to the, the different commands. I want to I wanna look amazing for you guys, but right now I'm just kind of looking dopey. It's okay. Alright, so we're in another large open chamber. Oh, it's that girl again. 
So you're the rat snooping around. There are no holes for you to crawl into and hide this time. Who needs to hide from you? You're just another of Mirgato's lapdogs. Silence, rat. What's this? Another rat has come out of hiding? I do not hide from demons. I went through all the others, and I will go through you just the same. Well now, aren't you scary? Open your eyes, girl. You're unarmed. You have no chance against me. Assuming I am at a disadvantage will be your last mistake. What is with you, rats? If you have a death wish, I will oblige you. Dark lady, behold, I give you an offering of blood. You shouldn't promise her things you can't deliver. I hear she has a bad temper. Alright, it looks like I get ready to fight my first boss. I'm gonna run like a scared woman. Oh gosh, there's people shooting me. Oh my goodness. Oh, horrible, terrible. That's no, all good. Oh man, there's people shooting me. Oh, alright. It's time to stop this nonsense. Come on. Well, that didn't work at all. Oh, okay, my focus meter is full. How do I, uh... Ah! That didn't work. Well, I miss a lot. So that's something. Alright, so I guess I jump up here and just beat him down. Like a boss. Oh. Oh. The shooter is here. Oh, the fireball. The fireball. Oh, the second fireball. And there's a ninja. But I don't care about the ninja. I am here to slay the enemies. Oh, hey. Don't do that. Stop it. There we go. Oh, fireball. Fireball bad. Oh, yeah. I'm doing what I do. Oh, oh. All right, one fireball, two fireballs, three fireballs. All right, things are getting nasty. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. And apparently we've already used our continue because I am a terrible person. I am just getting crushed. I actually had a pretty easy time with this uh, the first time I did it. So it's kind of disappointing to have such a hard time now. Nope. Oh. Alright. So we will lay into this guy. And boom. So we did pretty bad. We did an A on time, a C on actual combat, and an F because we used our health potion. Not bad for a rat. I'm starting to enjoy this. Uh-oh. Looks like we'll have to cut our dance short. I'm not done with you yet. We will meet again. Well, isn't that something? What are those things? Oh, boy. We have got to get out of here. I can handle myself. I didn't ask for your help. I'm sure you can take care of yourself, but now really isn't the time for this. I think those things are following us. You act pretty strange for an angel. I already told you, I am not an angel. My ship was attacked and we fell into the ocean. Somehow I ended up here. So you were the ball of light I saw fall from the sky earlier? That's the reason I came out here. Did you see any of the others from my ship? I must find them. I haven't. You're the only human from the surface I've ever seen in Sithel. Or Sithiel? Sithiel, you mean this is the city that fell at the start of the war? That's what they say, but I wasn't born back then. We call the creatures you saw back there ferals. They eat anything that's not one of them, but usually they stay in their own territory. Come with me to my village. I know the city well. Maybe I can help you find your crew. Your village? You mean there are more people living down here? Well, I suppose she wasn't born by herself. Nope. Come on, shoot at me. There we go. Oh, and then I fell like a noob. Ah, oh, jeez. Don't worry. I'll be there in a minute, lady. Alright, we got a demon ruby. Alright, onward. Onward, and victory! Spirit shard. Can't break through that, apparently. Simple enough. 
some sweet, sweet, delicious stuff. Hey, I'm over here, lady. I am over here. You are looking the wrong way. If you want to fight, come fight me. Alright, so I, I gotta say, artistically, I like the art style. The graphics are quite nice. And the story seems to be, well, the first part was a little quick, but it seems to be flowing pretty well. You jump right into th the thick of it, as they say. Hey, Atlana, you back already? I couldn't scavenge any supplies today. The demons tightened up their patrols. They had a new leader assigned to this area, and for some reason, ferals showed up. Ferals? Damn, that's not good. Well, it looks like you didn't come back empty-handed. Who's she? She's from the surface. She helped me with some of the demons back there. And all the excitement back there, I forgot to ask your name. My name is Reyna. Reyna, eh? That sounds familiar. Anyway, the elder said to send you to him when you got back. Something important. Thanks. Come on, the elder's place is at the bottom of town. Intriguing. I want to fight you! No. Man, I can't wait till my shift is over. I'm starving. Alrighty. Onward we go, I suppose. You're welcome to tag room as long as you don't cause any trouble, outsider. And it looks like there's all sorts of stuff here. There's, uh, oh, can't go that way. It looks like there's a shop of some sort. Barbaroy's trade post. What do you have to trade? Oh, we can trade stuff. Very cool. Very nice. I don't know... I don't know that I necessarily need to... Hmm. I guess these are his items? I can... Items needed for trade. Strong metal used in high level crafting. So there's a crafting system installed. There's a charm. But I guess I need to get one polished stone to get the charm? Huh. So maybe the items you get are used for crafting and trading? I don't know. Either way. Talk to the people as we go through the town. She apparently has nothing to say to us. Nope, I don't want to go this way yet. I want to see what that other level has to offer. Curses! There we go. Hello, Cheeky. I want to be a god like my dad when I grow up. Well, that's nice, Cheeky. Sorry, this area is restricted. Oh, sorry. Alright, not that much going on over here. Let's see if we can catch up with our chick. Atlanta, hello, girl. What pretty hair you have. Thank you. We placed nets under the falls to catch the fish that slipped through the cracks. Interesting. I'm tired of eating fish. I don't blame you, buddy. I would be starving if I was eating fish. Hello. Goodbye. I'm ahead of you. Who's leading who? Ooh, I want to get that. I wonder if I can. <laughs> oh, hello, God. Move along. You're busy. Fair enough. Oh, did I want to fall all the way down here? I don't think so, and I don't want to go that way yet. There's more to be explored. Oh, hello, man. I don't know why she still comes here. It's not like it's going to do us any good. Lynn Vonkat. The statue is one of the few bright spots left for us down here. Yes, also, it lets me save my game. Now, I think what I'm going to do is continue on a little bit further, and then I'll call it close to episode one. I think we're nearly to the bottom of the town, and it looks like, yes, we are. We use everything we can down here. Ooh, there's a rogue's cowl. Items needed for trade. I need... I have two in stock. Uh, see, I, I don't quite understand this. I guess to get a rogue's cowl, I need ten polished stone? I, I don't know. It looks like uh, there's two in stock at the warrior's plate. And again, polished stone and polished stone from the magician's cape. Clothing commonly worn by thieves and assassins. Hmm. We'll talk to the man. This is the last operating mana heater in Tagrum. Keeps everything within its radius from completely freezing over. Ah, oh, man, I'm still coughing, guys. I do apologize. Humans can't survive in areas without mana heaters. That sounds bad. Woman, leave me alone! You are left alone. Passage leads to Elder Traer's home. Is a guard keeping an eye on you, outsider? Wait here, Rena. Ah, good, you're back. I was beginning to worry about you, Atlana. Da-da-da. You're wounded. I told you to be more careful when gathering supplies, did I not? 
Elder, it's just a scratch. I met someone out in the derelicts. She's a human from the surface. Is that so? Step closer, outsider. Let me get a good look at you. My name's Reyna. My ship was attacked and I ended up in the city. We've not had any contact with humans from the surface since the city fell to the bottom of the sea. We had assumed they were all wiped out by the gods. There are only a few human cities left. The war has taken over most of the world up there. You said your ship was attacked? Was it by demons? No, it was something else. Giant creatures larger than anything I've ever seen. Giant creatures? You expect us to believe that? You could be a demon spy for all we know. You must believe me. I just want to find the others from my ship. Quiet is age. It's obvious w that what happened to Atlanta would have been much worse if she had not shown up. Have you known any demon or angel to ever help one of us down here? She had no reason to help her, but she did. Elder, she is an... She is not a demon or an angel. She is a human like us. That is all the trust we need for now. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry to say that we have not seen any people from your ship, but maybe we can help each other. We have lost contact with one of the other villages due to the increased angelic presence to the east. I had hoped to send Atlana on a task to re-establish communication with Hruk. But seeing as how she went and got herself injured, may I ask you to take her place? Grandfather, wait! You can't ask an outsider to. Hush, child. She would fare much better than you at this. You would stay here and have those wounds tended to. Yes, Elder. You people, oh, the people of Hruk will not trust you when they see your hair. Take the package beside me and deliver it to them. My hair? What do you mean? You haven't noticed? Something down here has turned everyone's hair white. No one knows why, exactly. Only demons and angels seem to retain their hair color. That helps us tell them apart. Yours will fade in time, too. Tell them Elder Trier, or Trayer sent you. That might get you inside. Hopefully you will find information about your companions there. Reyna, take this wall hook. You will need it to get to the mausoleum district east of here. So both angels and demons are in the city? But why? We don't know. They just began showing up about a year ago. Watch yourself out there. We have gained the skill wall jump. Well, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to head back and save at that save point, the save statue that we ran into, to the west. And that's going to pretty much do it for episode one of Valda's Story, Abyssal City. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This is... um. It's a fun game from what I've played. It seems to be pretty fun. I imagine I'm going to have some problems, as I often do when I play games. Because, well, I'm not exactly the greatest gamer ever. I just do it a lot, and I enjoy it. And, well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the adventure with me. So, if you have, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in Episode 2. Take care, everybody. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. Later.